Good morning again after seeing us in the room in the end of part two. This is day three. We just checked out of our room, checked out of the hotel and put our luggage into storage until six o'clock this evening. We've got a very late flight. We'll be leaving at 10 with Scandinavian Airlines. Our motto has got a day planned for us. It's yes. a little bit cooler than usual here. Got a little bit more of a jacket on to keep warm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what motto? Quickly wrap up what we are yeah. about to do now today. Parks. Parks and some uh, museum gardens and definitely one nice tea room. I want my meal fair. Right, so let's get a move on and go. Just standing here outside Petrosian. Looks like a caviar shop. It's a restaurant on the other side of the road and here we have the delicatessen. Sort of look inside, it's closed at the moment, it is Sunday. Just caviar on there. Walking along, I'm not really sure where Maro is heading for. I'm just following. It's pretty cold, I must say, also. I'm totally zipped up. Lovely archway of trees here. Got the autumn leaves blowing. Just keeping me on the little road. It's the Eiffel Tower again. Quite a windy Paris. I cannot even see the camera still here. We're trusting your model to take us in the right direction. Yeah. Let's just have a closer look at this building as we pass it by. It's Golden Dome up there. And the cannons in front. And the wind is blowing quite heavily. I can hardly keep the camera steady. See your model's here. Let's continue from this open place. Yeah. Now that we came closer, we can actually see that this is in fact the Army Museum. As is written on the sign there. We're not going to go in as we're heading on towards the park Mato plans to take us to. Okay, <laughs> it turns out we're actually here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a little bit confusing because but it says uh, Army Museum but it's a hotel Les Invalides. So we're about to go look for something that doesn't exist or something we're actually standing in front of but we're here. Yeah. So what's the next destination? Now next, we've... Is, next to that there is a Museo Rodin. Let's do the that. Thinker, the thinker, I want to see the thinker. This doesn't look like uh, the place we're supposed to be going in, but then an old rule says just go in and have a look around and see where it leads us. A lovely park, I'm sure it's even more lovely in the spring and summer. And the park's providing us with another lovely view of the Eiffel Tower. And a lovely sculpture here in the middle of the grass. And that was the park. And now we've seen that. It's nice. And that's also the Army Museum. We just came down here to have a look. We're not going in. The street signs here in Paris are quite beautiful. I haven't showed one, so I better show one now before we start flying home again. Okay, we're standing on a street corner here. A little wall here sheltering us from the incredibly cold wind. <laughs> and Marlo's gonna say why we're here and why we're standing. Did you get lost again? No, I did not get lost. That's the Rodin. Of course it's a Rodin, but as you can see, the entrance if you look wasn't carefully, this side. There's just no entrance there. It's in that side there's there. It's a big wall. Why didn't you say that before we Well I don't walking? know where is the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> but this how is can how I it know? Is. Take it take it with a sense of humor, <laughs> as we are. Ha ha ha. And uh, off we go to the entrance. Mm. Just looking through the fence here, as you can see, that looks a little bit more like a park. We're expecting that we probably have to pay to get in. Down another road, walking towards hopefully the entrance. Looks like it's just ahead of us. That's the entrance. See, we end up. There we go. We have the admission fees, 10 euros, two adults, and there's some pensioner fees also, etc. Just pass through a security before we were allowed in. Straight in the shop area. Oh, it's a ticket area, sorry. Outside we come. Time to explore the 
museum. Oh, I see something ahead. Oh, I see. <laughs> there we have the thinker. Quite impressive to see that. Uh, sculpture when learns about in history and in art at school. Right there in front of us. A. Rodin. I'm very happy to have seen that. And carrying on out towards the park. Are you happy you saw that? One tick for my bucket list. It's good. Maro is the more arty one among us, between us. She said that I always sit on my art. art. <laughs> I suppose it's true. I have other interests, but can appreciate it when I see it also. And that was very nice to see, as I mentioned. Hi. Those are usually things you just remember from your history book from school, now you actually see them. That's exactly what I was going to say, she took my line, but as we say, that's married life. Those of you who are married, you know it, you can identify with me. She's not even smiling anymore, it's just the way it is. If you look at it from one more angle, oh, toilets are here also. Quite a palace or mansion here. It's also a nice little cafe there. For those of you visiting here, this museum. And just imagine how lovely it is here in the spring summer time. That being said, it's also lovely being here now. Sculptures are located all around the park garden and this one looks like a painter with his palette. It's coming up on a pond here. And behind that there's a big sitting area over by the hedge where we're going to get some lovely views of the palace mansion I can imagine. Mara's already standing there and got the photo of the view. It really is good. Watch this. Look at that lovely view of the house. On we go, continuing through the park. And quite something, these works of art. Just walking through here a little bit. Next one, I call it the Lina. Before we exit this area of the grounds, let's just have a look behind us. Some busts. One was the head of Victor Hugo over here. Continuing along, I think we're going into the building now. We're going into the building now. Oh, that's a nice one there. It's quite popular among everybody. It's looking like a big doorway. Sculpture coming up ahead of us. Eiffel Tower in the distance. Oh, sorry, this was actually the last sculpture here. Now we're gonna make our way into the building. And in we go. I need a little bit of warmth here. Mardo's leading the way. Let's get on inside. Show your tickets. Let's go show our tickets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that was the Rodin Museum. Yes. Maro ticked off her bucket list with mm -hmm. the, the thinker. <laughs> Me too. I even knew the thinker from the school, as I mentioned earlier on. Now we're going to move on to the Louvre. Now we go to the cafeteria, Angelina. It was 
time to cross the bridge again. The sun's coming out a little bit. Here we go. Look at the car parked on the boat in the back. The car on the boat. Just have a look at that car on the boat I'm talking about. There you go, look at that. If I'm not mistaken, that is one of those amphibious cars from the 1960s. If you know, please let us know down in the comments below. It just looks like a water boat, amphibious car. I saw a documentary about it and it looked something like that. Look at the detail in these lampposts. Coming up on some art, metal sculpture. I have the hood back on because it's not that hot. We're still making our way to the cafeteria. Hopefully there's seats. I have a feeling it's going to be packed and we're not going to be able to get in anyway. Then I will, then I will tell, ask them when book the table for us, we come back. I yeah. promise you that. I have a tick. And when I have a tick, I have a tick. Lovely areas here. Yeah. Tourist areas of course. Here we are at the Cafe Angelina, the restaurant Angelina, what is it called? Cafeteria. Cafeteria Angelina. Mano made us join the queue. It's pretty long, so hopefully it goes quickly. I'm not the kind of person who likes to stand in long queues. I like to see as much as possible of the city rather than stand in a queue. Okay, and just when I get to the front. Uh, 
trucky. I have to write that down below. Okay, really nice. That is my milfe. Milfe, she's been talking about the whole time, even before we came to Paris. Okay. She's one of the masks. Oh, indeed. Please excuse our cameras on the table. There's not really anywhere else to put them, and we have to reach for them all the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't be on the table normally. And everything comes with a nice carafe of water as well. Yeah. Almost licked up with water. So, let's drink some coffee, pour some water. We taste those lovely cakes. Just noticed the little bold detail here on the corner. There's a little label there, A for Angelina. Mm. Just gonna watch Mado take our first bite. And we gotta eat them and enjoy them. We'll tell you about it later. Mm. Speak a little bit louder so we can hear you. Oh, it's really nice. It's good? Oh, yeah. Milfe means thousand leaves. That's why it's so crunchy. Little layers of pastry. Going for it again. Oh my god. It's lovely. So creamy, beautiful. I think the face says it all. She likes it. Next up is me. Are you taking the test? I'm just putting my glasses on so I can see what it is I'm tasting here. Yeah? Let's have a look. Look at that. Was that something with the hazelnut? No, come in and have a look there. You can see, got a nice juicy chocolatey piece here. And. Mmm. Mmm. Crispy, it's ice cold. Even though we've been filming and taking photos for so long, it's really, really good. I can't give you a lot of long description of what's inside it. I can just tell you it's good, and uh, I can recommend it if you're ever here. So now we're gonna enjoy our cakes and our coffee, and we'll see you as we walk out of the restaurant again. Okay, we're back again. Enjoying these cakes. I'm really happy we're in such a special place in Paris. If any of you have been here before, please let us know down in the comments below. And if you know a better place to visit in Paris, also let us know down in the comments so we're not for next time we're here. Here we have the price. Two pastries and two coffees, 29 euros and 20 cents. Bye bye. So let's move on. What's the plan next? Now we want to go to the centre Pompidou. Which I have no idea what is. Les Salles. I'm trusting Maro. Just watching the time also. The time here on the trusty Pulsar is 20 to 3. We want to be back at the hotel at around 6 so we can take a taxi to the airport. Here we have one of France's most famous ladies, Joan of Arc, Jeanne d'Arc. Art. Interesting thing about that painting here is that they are three pyramids making the picture. That would give that moving effect as you come across. 
actually very cleverly made. Oh, I was taking a shortcut, cutting on the inside, and there she goes, raising off the other people. Number one, number two, and then she goes. That lovely cake. You can't resist stopping to film these lovely cakes also. We're just stopping for an arty shot before we carry on again. And we're just stopping for another art shot here on the main road. Now what is the name of it, Mar? What's it called? The Centre Pompidou. Oh, it's also written right up there on the sign. This is the one with the famous stairway. Where they say Parisians are still divided as to whether they, what was it the Expedia said, whether it's a work of art or a work of genius or Crap. craziness or I can't quite remember. But anyway, I, I quite like it. I've seen it on photos. Now we're seeing it live for the first time. And I think it's quite awesome. There you have it. One extraordinary building. The viewers are even more extraordinary. Look at that. Waiting to get in. It goes all the way up there to the top. Quite a stairway. <laughs> Equally impressive are these huge, looks like ship chimneys. Must be the ventilation pipes. And the last angle of this building is here. You can really see the stairway going all the way up. So now we saw that. Pompidou. Pompidou, I was about to ask Maro. <laughs> and the next stop is where? Les Salles. Les Salles, and that's just over in that direction. Yeah. For your information, the happy hour in France is from about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Until the evening, I can't remember quite what time. We head on down to the... You say it's a market hall or what is it? I'm not quite sure. It used to be a big market. It's also a bar, cafe, restaurant down there in the end. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Ah, this looks like a shopping mall. Well, let's go inside the field. Yeah. Yeah, this is a shopping mall. Some kind of outlet. There's the sign, there's the forum. It's just normal shops. It's a big mall area. Nice looking building though. It's going a little bit closer. Yeah. Looking very nice, nicely covered area. So with the roof behind us here at this market hall, what was it called in French? Les Salles. La Salle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, so send us a comment on uh, in the comments down below if you see yourself on that video. And uh, Mara and I are just going to move on now to a little cafe, yeah. have a little drink. It's quite cold out here. We're not going to go in there as we said because it's basically a collection of shops. But it's a lovely building, a lovely covered area. So let's move on down to the cafe. Moving on again. Watch all the way going at this stage. Let's see. It's going with the flow. Back here on the main road. Now it's time to go find that cafe, lavatory break and a drink. So here we are, another pit stop, another beer, 11 euros a beer. We're now basically just killing a bit of time until we leave, is that correct? I reckon. It's cold outside, you don't feel like to walk. We're warming ourselves here, we're going to have two Heimbergen blonde beers. It's nice. Yeah, nice bar. The beer is arrived at the table, little olive snacks to go with it. There's that happy face, we know so well. Where's the happy face? Beer. Let's just have a look around the bar also. So we're 
the cafe both the sign. A very unique system. Yeah. Uh, cellar. As the doors closing. And the bill for two beers came to 22 euros. So that was very cozy. One beer down each, 500 milliliters, a very good beer. Yeah. Now we gotta head back in the cold to our hotel where we gotta catch a taxi out to the airport. Let's move. It's green. Just on the way back to the hotel, everybody's Photographing that clock up there, it's blowing like hell. If anybody knows what that clock is, please leave a comment down in the section or let us know in the comment section down below. Let's carry on walking. It's freezing here. And just behind this fence here, we're passing the Ministry of Justice. Last glimpses of Perry. And on we go. Oh, another one. We're almost back at the hotel now and it's time to wrap this day up before we make our way to the airport. And what a way to end this video with the Eiffel Tower. So here we are standing in the darkness. We're about to wrap this video up. We're close to our hotel. Got to pack our bags finished, get it from the reception and then we're going to order a taxi and head out to the airport. Yeah. Thanks for watching this third part, third day of our trip to Paris. We'll see you on the next video. That will more than likely be our departure. Yeah. from Charles de Gaulle Airport and we'll be flying with SES. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave us a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye from me. Bye bye from me too. See you on the next video. See you.